I just wanted to make it clear because I'm not sure if I was clear at the end of that part that when you get to the end of this row that we did the change in pattern you're gonna go up to the third chain do your slip stitch just like before chain three and now we're gonna follow the pattern okay we're not going to change it up we're going to follow the pattern for two more rows so we're going to yarn over go in, go in the back because it starts with the back ones see do your back post double then go in the next one Whoop, get caught yarn over grab it from the back pull through do your double crochet okay then you do another one back post double crochet and then your last one back post double crochet all four okay then you see the patterns in front you're going to follow that now go in the back okay go in the front there's the front post double crochets okay and you're going to follow the pattern all the way around okay and the, for the front you're going to go in the front for the backs, you're going to go in the back, okay? And you're going to do it for this row and another row, okay? And then I'll meet, meet you back. And if you want, you could do three more rows just to make it as tall as you wanted to, okay? And after that, we really just have the trim, and I'll show you how to do the, um, the handle, okay? So I'll, I'll see you in a few. Okay, so I finished all my rows, and I cut it off. I cut off... Um, the yarn and I'm just going to pull this through okay and I'll, I'll sew all these ends in later so I really don't actually I could bring some of these in when I do the trim but I'm now I'm going to show you what I did with the trim it was very simple I just attached my yarn okay you could do it anywhere you could attach it anywhere say if you want to start in this just pull through your yarn and then make a slip knot okay now you're going to work in this yarn as you go so make a slip knot and chain up two one two okay now we're going to go in back into that same hole and do a double crochet and then we're going to do one more double crochet And then a half double crochet in that same hole okay and it makes just a little bit of a trim now I'm going to skip one in the next one you're going to do a half double crochet you're going to skip one stitch in the next stitch you're going to do a half double crochet a double crochet another double crochet and a half double crochet so there's four stitches in in each okay so it makes just a little bit of edging around so you'll skip the next stitch and go in the next stitch and you do that all the way around and then attach it right here in the beginning okay now I'm going to show you how we're going to do I'm just going to cut that off for now and you can finish it off at your leisure so now I'm going to show you what we're going to do to make the handle we're going to make a slip knot Okay, any way that you choose to do that. Put your hook in. And we're just going to start chaining. It's not important how, exactly how many, because I'm not even sure exactly. I'm going to just kind of measure, and then I'll count them. I'll measure it to the one I already made and count it, and I'll tell you. So keep chaining. Do you make a chain long enough for your handle? Okay. Just keep making a chain and this is basically just white acrylic medium weight yarn also and the same hook the size six millimeter hook okay keep going we're getting there <laughs> Let me measure this up against my, oh, 
little bit more. And then I'll count them to make sure that you know how many to do. Exactly. Okay, let me count this for you. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 62. So I have 62 stitches. That should be plenty for the handle, okay? Now we're going to use our wire. We're going to just pull it up a little bit off of it and straighten it out a little. Don't worry. You're just going to kind of crochet the wire in and I'll show you how, okay? You're going to push it through. This is how I do it anyway. Pull, put it through your first chain, okay? And then, see how I put it through? And then I'm just going to bend it down so it will stay in that first chain. See? I bend it, bent it in the back right there see and that will hold it while you're crocheting it in okay so you're gonna hold put this down say if you you know how when you um, sew in your ties it's the same kind of concept okay let me just kind of twist that around there we go okay so now we're gonna do single crochets in the second chain from the hook okay so you're gonna go in pull out do a single crochet okay you're gonna go in every single crochet just keeping the wire against the chains like this go into the next single crochet there you go in the next chain in the next chain pull out do a single crochet see so this wire is staying right against your chains like that go in to the chain pull out and do a single crochet and you're going to do that all along the chain. All single crochet, see? So this wire just stays right there. You go into your single into your chain, pull out, do a single crochet. Into the next one, pull out, do a single crochet. And continue this all the way down. Then you're going to turn it, turn your work around, chain up one and and continue turn the wire with you and do one more row. Actually, yeah, I just, uh, no, I think I did three rows. So you're gonna do um, three rows all together, okay? So I'm gonna continue to show you a little bit more, okay? Go in the chain, pull it out. Go in the chain, pull it out, do a single crochet. Go in the chain, pull it out, do a single crochet. There you go. See how it's nice and you can bend it the way you want it. See how nice that goes? And then you, after you're done doing three rows with the wire, just like this, you just turn the wire when you turn your work. Okay? And lay it flat against the next row and do the same. Okay? When you're done with your three rows, then you just, I'll, you just sew it in. Sew it into your basket. Sew your handle right into the two sides of the basket. And you're all done. I hope you enjoyed this project. Um, it's my first one, so I'm sure I made some mistakes, but um, I'll keep working on that. And uh, thank you for spending this time with me. And if you really liked doing this project with me, please subscribe to my channel because I'm going to start putting up some of my projects every week. Um, and like this project. So have a great day. God bless you. Bye-bye.